In this video, I'm going to give you a few quick slide technique tips that hopefully will help you improve your slide technique and your efficiency. A lot of people say to move the slide with the wrist. Now, certainly there is wrist involved in moving the trombone slide, but to just use the wrist is a little bit too limiting, and it's not really how we move technically anyway. So. What do we use to move the slide? Well, we, we use all of the available joints of our right arm. Of course, we have our fingers we can use, and then there's our wrist, and work our way upward. We have our elbow joint, and we have our upper arm joint right here. And there's one more joint that I'd like you to learn about, and it's called the sternoclavicular joint. And we say SC for short, your SC joint. Take your left hand and find your right collarbone and trace its length until you find where it ends. Mine's right about there. And that's your SC joint, right where the sternum and the clavicle meet. There's a joint there. Now I want you to hold on to that, just touch that joint while you swim with the right arm. You should feel lots of motion in that joint. Now we're going to transition from swimming to trombone playing and you should still continue to feel motion right at that joint. Yeah. So trombone players who don't know about the SC joint are likely to be sharp when they go out to their lower slide positions. And if you do know about that joint, then you can move a little more efficiently to get all the way out to 6th and 7th position. There's a great way to integrate this information into your playing, and that is simply trace a straight line with your right hand. And to do this, I recommend you keep your slide locked and put your trombone right up to your face. Put the metal right onto your embouchure so that it feels right. And then leave the slide locked and just trace that bottom tube with your fingers. Now as you do this, don't let the bell move. If that's bobbling up and down, then it's going to disrupt your embouchure and your tone. So keep the bell steady. And just trace a straight line with your right fingers. In order to do this, you'll need to hold the entire weight of the instrument up with your left arm. That's really important because if you do that, then you can just guide the slide on its track. But if you start to shift some of the weight of the instrument over, then suddenly not only are you trying to manipulate the slide with your right hand, you're also trying to hold the instrument up. And that'll really slow you down. So hold the entire weight of the instrument up here with the left arm and then trace a straight line with your right hand and you should be good to go. The other thing this will do for you is as you move down the trombone slide to the lower slide positions, you're going to use the joints of your arm, all the ones that we've learned about, in different proportions. But since all you're thinking about is tracing that straight line, then the proportions of the joints that you'll use, you don't have to worry about that. Just trace that straight line, and so long as you have freedom in all of the jointed areas, including that SC joint, then you should have easy and efficient slide technique. So when I move all the way out, I'm incorporating that SC joint. And when I'm up here, I'm using different proportions of the other joints. So it's a very easy equation. Hold the instrument up with the left hand. Use all of the joints of your right arm. And simply trace a straight line for excellent slide technique.